So, so, welcome, welcome everybody. This is Victor's Dragon 360, and uh, today like, I would like to talk to you. Excuse me. <coughs> I would like to talk to you about how to get to level 40 without leaving tutorial, really. <laughs> Whether it is just to mess about and kind of like dominate the area or actually to uh, be a <coughs> more honorable hero and to actually help out your new uh, players like hero friends and uh, to be able to support them in the starting stages of tutorial it's all up to you uh, I'm just uh, there uh, to show you how to actually achieve such position in the world and uh, be level 40 in the tutorial. So let's get started, shall we? So, so. The first thing to decide is basically whether you want to have a freeform character or a <laughs> like uh, some other class character. If you choose to have a normal class, <laughs> uh, obviously freeform is better to start with. But uh, if you have a, 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 a archetype character, basically you will probably benefit from using the <laughs> archetype with energy builder that is ranged. Um, the reason for that is uh, basically <laughs> the way <laughs> you progress first few levels is going to be by farming the eggs. So you can have a look at the powers by her uh, checking the uh, rows uh, like by basically clicking the archetype and then clicking on uh, show full power progression and you'll be able to decide from there so I pick the radiant because uh, if uh, you want to <laughs> help your friends as well in the tutorial in case you want to like heal them that is a perfect alternative in my opinion um, you'll be able to get um, a <laughs> ranged uh, energy builder that actually heals your allies as well as well as yourself <laughs> and um, yeah I'll go for free form this time though just to show you the basic um, like can be uh, output uh, <coughs> basic <coughs> things uh, that you <coughs> will be able to do in the tutorial to level up quicker <laughs> if that makes sense so uh, the one I would go for um, is any ranged energy builder the first thing you choose is obviously an energy builder so I'd rather choose Probably steady shot <laughs> because it has target four for fifty feet. So uh, the other ones seem to uh, target a bit. Uh, less than that as far as I remember so let's do that and uh, <laughs> let's have a look at the next one you might want to have something to heal yourself or to support it doesn't really matter it depends on the playstyle that you want to use uh, personally I will go for infernal blast or lash because <laughs> they're dealing poison damage and uh, Kind of, I just will yeah, like to stack the damage over time. Let's have a look how that works out. Yeah, let's choose Lash. 
and uh, you need characteristics and just for the sake of argument I'll show you the hero which is a perfect balance uh, between like all the stats so uh, nothing too special <laughs> and uh, I'll keep the default costume just to show that uh, this is uh, yeah, kind of like just a test hero basically and uh, <laughs> let's have a look <laughs> we can make the head much bigger much taller and much wider make him skinny just for the hell of it <laughs> like yeah something like that and yeah <laughs> let's give him some uh, proper mood like Make him a bit happy, smugging, and average. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we call him a weird test. Hey, I'm just testing after all. and we go to the tutorial obviously <laughs> we don't want to skip it because we want to level inside the tutorial that's right so what happens after that is quite important <laughs> like you want to change uh, some of the control schemes like um, uh, I personally choose action controls and we apply that so we can run around with, like we want to then the other thing you want to do is have auto attack to maintain Or toggle never cancels even. So toggle never cancels is actually the best option for auto leveling. And uh, yeah, well done. I completed the first mission by coming up to the lady. So uh, let me just uh, kind of briefly change the key binding to something more similar. Thank you. And we can stop playing. So we have to take that mission, we automatically get uh, 45 experience. And we come out after talking to Plato, of course. Thank you, Plato. Blah blah blah. You can talk to this guy alternatively if you want to, but it's not necessary. And we enter the Koala simulation. All the uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, like shows the cutscenes. You automatically get a few experience points there. And now, <laughs> instead <laughs> of her. Uh, going to what's his name sergeant mcavoy oh he turned into zombie well done <laughs> but uh, can, that was actually an accident <laughs> i don't want to come up to or talk to that guy because uh, i want just to <laughs> start shooting these eggs and uh, that's how it works because <laughs> we've got the Uh, options to oh, where are the options? There they are. Yeah, 
not these ones. <laughs> because we've got the uh, uh, controls of the auto attack set to toggle never cancels, we can now <laughs> actually AFK while our character does the job by shooting and farming experience from the eggs. You get about 10 experience from each one on level 1 and you just have to stand around and uh, yeah, <laughs> you get experience for all sort of stuff like uh, getting certain perks as well, uh, breaking certain number of objects, uh, dealing certain number of damage, so don't forget about that. Now. We want to save uh, uh, kind of, uh, most missions for when we hit level 5 or 6. Uh, I think it's level 6. Oh, just a second. And uh, we can just leave uh, the character for a while like that. As you can see, he's already level 2. And. Uh, Yeah, just <laughs> leave him facing forward so that he can target the right uh, things. And hopefully, when we come back after a while, he's going to be uh, high level. Now, obviously, if you got hideouts purchased, it would greatly help because uh, that way, what you can do is stop shooting for a moment. You can actually go to your hideout. Uh, let's choose basement. Fair enough. <laughs> kind of suits our hero, doesn't it? <laughs> we can go <laughs> to <laughs> the hideout and essentially uh, access our shared account bank, in which we probably will have some XP boosts which are really handy and uh, each one of them will give you 20% XP boost which will speed up uh, <laughs> the XP gainage from 10 to, you guessed it, 12 <laughs> uh, experience per each um, hive pod each cooler egg yeah, cooler hive pod they're called, ok, <laughs> fair enough, now I know Okay, uh, and now we just sit in back and wait. Let's just pretend that we completed our journey to uh, level 5 or 6. Basically, as long as you're getting experience from the Hive boards, you need to keep doing that before starting the missions. After you've done that and you can't get any more experience from those, you can come up to this guy and take the first mission. He gives you 45 experience already for just talking to him. We take the seeding frenzy. Excellent. I'm glad you're here. We get 225 experience. We get the next mission. And Don't forget to blow because it actually does help to <coughs> save some health while you don't have uh, a lot of powers to protect yourself. So just keep blocking and hitting. Collect all the orbs you can to prevent yourself from dying. Because <laughs> those stars around your character, in case you didn't know, actually <laughs> give you 15% damage and healing bonus. Thank you. 
And just keep shooting more and more of them on the way to get extra resources or experience. Although, <laughs> by the time <laughs> you start uh, the mission, you shouldn't really be getting any more experience because they are level 1 and you should be level 5 or 6 by now. And it should be pretty much pointless. <laughs> Once you do reach level 6, you can press on the powers button and select power up when it appears at level 6 and you can select the travel power to activate on number, n not number, on letter T. <laughs> and you should uh, enable you to move around faster. We talk to Chief Serov, we get all the bonus missions we can. This is going to be the next bonus mission. Speaking of which, we already missed one important achievement that is going to be quite important for the future. Even if you destroy objects, you can get a perk for destroying certain number of objects afterwards. It will also give you experience. So, yeah, there is a kind of achievement. There is a perk, the red bug down. You can only get it in the tutorial area, and there you go. You just received 45 experience for it. No matter which level you are, they all count. There we go. By the way, you can view uh, your achievements by pressing L and going to perks. Well, uh, perks or achievements, obviously, yeah. And you can see how much is left for each achievement to complete. If you want to uh, farm some resources for some of the perks that obviously grant experience in return that I talked about before, you can do that by uh, killing waves of drones, <coughs> or you can just grab a mission, well, and or you can grab a mission that is right there. Drone, drone, under range. You need to kill nine in range drones, which grants you lots of experience, which is what we shall do now. Seven left.
okay. You know you're going down, no need to resist. <laughs> Remember, all this is uh, me playing through without any experience boosts. So, uh, until level 10, if you don't have any boosts, this is how fast this is actually going. All the experience gained from these missions and uh, killings. Just one more enraged drone and we complete it. Yeah, that's all the base experience without any boosts. There we go. We leveled up just from that mission already. And we got some items. By the way, <laughs> these bosses with uh, like mini bosses <laughs> with three health bars give you a lot of experience if you kill them uh, close to your level, obviously. So, level 1 to 6, you'll be able to get quite a lot of experience. We just got 81 experience for killing that one. Come on. Now, the reason uh, why I'm going back there instead of uh, handing in the mission, you'll see in a bit. I am basically uh, going to complete another bonus mission. Oh. about another champion's character that is called Foxbat. You probably heard of him if you're watching this video and you've got previous characters, but I'm just mentioning it anyways. By this time you should have a uh, travel power <laughs> if you reached level 6, so uh, you should technically uh, be moving around much faster. And let's go hand in the mission. 1463 experience. Let's send it in. Full Metal Jacket is the next mission. 
and is your last chance to farm as much uh, experience to level 6 if you haven't already reached it but uh, <coughs> that only works with certain conditions that I will explain in a bit basically <laughs> the open world mission makes you <laughs> defeat uh, 30 polar invaders as the first stage of the event so that's quite easy again farm the experience while you can your health won't recover for a while uh, <laughs> after you finish combat so don't forget to go back and heal yourself a bit because the health is not regenerating at this point when you're fighting someone and if you die you risk having to go back all the way to the center of uh, arena basically and someone's shooting me still Okay, once we recovered health somewhere in safety, we can go back. And now uh, that we defeated 30 invaders, is the key part. We don't have to collect cannon parts if we are uh, the only player in the open area mission, Battle of the Anclad. We basically, if you see nobody else around, uh, of the players you don't have to collect cannon parts for a while and you can just farm and farm and farm uh, the bug keepers and uh, voila for experience which is what we're gonna do <laughs> they each grant at this point uh, I'm level 4 so <laughs> they grant uh, from about uh, six experience each at max if nobody else helps you to defeat them that is so yeah five six experience at least you can get from each one but you can see these soldiers are also shooting them so for each uh, damage they receive from the soldier your xp bonus is reduced so, try to get as many damage in as possible. level 5 we get a perk appreciated which automatically gives us 315 experience and from then onwards we can still get experience just at slightly lower rate and now let's just pretend that someone does come in and gathers all the crates so there are no more waves of enemies so two out of five I wouldn't advise you do it yourself just uh, keep farming enemies for experience like uh, I said before But if someone does it, like that, then there is another option to take. 
one of the best options is obviously going to be killing the mini bosses with three health bars because they give you most experience. So let's gather that. Obviously, if someone does that, you need to complete the battle of the ironclad still. You have to wait less than a minute. And uh, once uh, the time elapses, you automatically complete the uh, open world event. And you don't get experience for it, but you can hand in the mission and you get experience for that. Getting dangerous. Four, three, two, one, and done. <laughs> Don't forget to take your bonus, obviously. Oh, two kill mutagens. Very nice. We can only carry one though, okay. <laughs> There's probably a glitch in the system. <laughs> Giving you two of unique items as a reward. But uh, let's just put it simple. <laughs> if you want to keep leveling, you have to go... <laughs> back... Uh, to the bosses with three health bars and just kill them as many times over and over. Wait for them to respawn, repeat the process. <laughs> There's the Dark Knight. <laughs> Run around trying to level as well, I guess. Yeah, so <laughs> there are at least uh, three respawn points for these mini bosses. As I said, uh, one is um, right in front of the battlefield over there. One is right there. I think Dark Knight just killed that mini boss, so. We'll have to come back later, and there is also one walking right there, where we had uh, enraged drones. So come up to them, kill them, get experience, and move on. <laughs> Easy as that. <laughs> Here we go. Little by little we'll farm the experience for the next level and then I'll show you exactly what can be done <laughs> to farm experience on level 6 and afterwards, up to level 9. Wow. 
Okay. <coughs> so let's just say <coughs> you reach level six. You've uh, chosen your travel power. Well, <coughs> I obviously haven't, but <coughs> I already told you how to purchase your power. You just go there and select power up and use the travel power to actually get it. So <coughs> you all you need to do after you uh, finished full metal jacket mission <laughs> is to basically hand it in so what we do is uh, run over around the building towards the big staircase over there Feel free to shoot things on the way, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and once you reach this point, you'll see witchcraft that is actually going to allow you to get more experience by handing in the mission. The uh -huh. 2700 Great. experience, how cool is that? And then you get the mission Homestead Security that allows you to enter the next stage. Now, you should ideally enter this uh, only after you reach level 6 and uh, can really can't farm any more outside of uh, the building, but I'm going to show you what to do inside there anyways. <laughs> there is a mission warning that shows up uh, before you come up there, you can just ignore it and press Anti Champions HQ. <laughs> now. When it loads, you might notice all the enemies in there are slightly harder because they're higher level, level 4 is rather than 1 outside, and uh, they also grant a little bit more experience uh, on average. So. Now talk to Defender and press continue. Doesn't <laughs> really matter what it says, like important or not. We just need to get there as fast as we can. And there is our target, Black Talon. He is level 5. And you should technically be level 6 by now, so... <laughs> yeah, don't forget to block. This is actually an important piece of tutorial right there. If you block, you have more chances of surviving it and defeating him from first try. Also, try to dodge these red uh, nuclear missile circles, uh, so that you can avoid the damage and get it stunned and when you defeat him you get automatically 315 experience and then <laughs> it says disable the Quora beacons you do not need to do that at all I'll explain why in a minute make sure you defeat all the trooper bots so that they don't get in the way do not uh, disable the Quora beacons you only need to get rid of NPCs that might get in the further way of leveling up. Oh, let's get rid of this guy. He's actually got more experience because he's got two health bars. He's a villain level. And we got 75 experience from that alone. Okay. Now, all we got to do is press on the little icon there that says Socrates and press leave current map then exit now it's crucial you do that and then you can re-enter champions HQ 
and redo the whole mission all over, 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 over again. As you can see, <laughs> the enemies respawned. And you keep getting experience for... Basically getting rid of them. Six. As soon as we get that, we can obviously first try to level up. Over here, we don't have much time. By doing purchase travel powers, I would recommend getting either. Uh, acrobatics or flight to get to further areas. I just personally like uh, acrobatics, so I choose that most of the time. Different variations of it doesn't really matter. Uh, blazing acrobatics, for instance, will activate your acrobatics with some special effect. Then you need to purchase a power. Like, uh, personally, I picked some block power that would actually uh, uh, Over here. We don't have much help time. you gain more protection. So, for instance, Voodoo Doll doesn't have to be that, but never mind. And most importantly, primary stats and talent. For instance, I'll just pick a uh, one for range damage or constitution. Yeah, let's do constitution just to have more health. Have <laughs> and talents, you have to pick the one that you just picked. So if you picked uh, ego, you'll have to pick uh, the one with eight ego. Uh, if you picked constitution like I did, you have to pick endurance. Uh, enduring, my bad, with eight constitution. Yes, we don't have much time, that's why. Over here. We don't have much time. I continue to gain it. <laughs> There we go. And as you can see, we're still having uh, experience from even simple mobs. Because 6 minus level 4 equals 2 is less than 5 levels, so we're still getting experience from that. <laughs> now, that will obviously work until level 9, uh, as far as I understand, because at level 9, uh, level 4 will not be... Uh, in the range of five levels, it will actually go a bit over, so you won't be able to get experience from level fours. What I do now, so what do we do then? Is the question. So, continuing on from the topic uh, of uh, what to do when you reach level 9 in tutorial, uh, by the way, 
and as you level up you'll obviously need to like get more powers and or upgrades for them so uh, on this particular character I got obviously regeneration <laughs> to make it easier to uh, survive uh, high level mobs and I got an extra power and yes this is a character inspired by Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy I know I know not ideal choice but still so we're going into Champions HQ we're almost level 9 <laughs> what happens afterwards you'll see in a little bit So we are level 9 now, and as you can see, as I kill level 4, I get resources but not the experience. What can we do? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. We continue to enter and re-enter the area of Champions HQ in Crisis, i.e. in Tutorial. And we don't have much time. yes, we don't have much time, but Black. we can redo the area onwards and onwards because, as you remember, Black Talon is actually Black level Talon five. So He's nine minus five, five is destroyer. four. Still less than five. <laughs> and with upgraded powers, <laughs> it shouldn't be much of a struggle to defeat him so that's what we're going to, to try and do pick up the bonuses the watch carefully in the chat black as black talent goes down we still get experience 206 experience uh, roughly per run and this time we don't even really need to finish off the mobs because they don't grant us anything apart from resources well and occasionally some of the objects so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave current map and re-enter again We got 252 experience this time. So, as you can see, it varies a little bit, and uh, we get slightly different experience uh, count, but it's on average about 200. So, you can count how many runs it's going to take you uh, from level 9 to level 10, and then it's going to be <coughs> kind of all to do with alerts. Now, the way you do alerts best is to go to search for emergencies from Socrates menu, alerts coordinate menu, and you choose the alerts mission. It's usually a daily mission that is grab, smash, or bursts, or all three of them, so you'll need to accept that. And you can also hand in the mission from the same menu. So once you do three alerts, um, in the category that you're required to do, you can hand it in and get extra experience. Now, before uh, I show you how to do that from level 10 to level 40, there is one little trick that can help you get experience uh, a little bit from the area in uh, the tutorial outside of uh, Champions HQ and that is to join a party with some new player first you need to obviously check if there are any new players 
in the area. You can do that by pressing O or the social panel. And uh, you can try and invite them to team. Whichever one accepts. The D-man invited to team. Yeah, yeah, sure. Basically, uh, once they are in the team, okay, somebody declined the invite. Not that it matters too much. accept the accept if not then we'll kind of have to go back to the uh, same old method oh, I'm currently waiting for a friend okay that's no worries so first we need to set them as oh thank you <laughs> team champion then to team leader and then we can get experience from killing the same mobs don't forget, <laughs> you get um, start side kicking. Obviously, <laughs> you get uh, less stats at their level, but you also get experience. So, see, I killed this guy once start after starting such a sidekick, and I got six experience for killing him. So, it does work to a certain extent. Let me just reply. No worries. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Now we can get experience for any kills. Within range of five levels, obviously. So that's just another uh, kind of little trick to let you get experience a bit faster. However, if there are uh, kind of uh, no players around, or you're just not feeling up like uh, to socializing with other players too much for whatever reason you can use the same method of re-entering champions HQ and grabbing experience that way so let's leave the party uh, first of all thank the guy for helping us give him a polite bow and leave the team. Okay, so what happens once you actually do reach level 10 and you can't get experience from Black Talon anymore because 10 minus 5 is 5 and that means you can't get any more experience from him. Well, to put it shortly, as I said before, you can uh, go to alerts, to do the grab alerts. As you can see uh, on the screen now, um, this is one of the characters who is already level 39, but you can do it from level 10 till all the way to level 40, really. So, when you complete... Uh, uh, each alert you get a ton of uh, experience for grab alert and certain things for completing bursts and smashes so the way it works is that like, you are level 30 on all of these alerts because your level is being scaled to the average 
and well, not really the average, but in just to level 30, whether you are higher or lower or even exactly at level 30, it's still being scaled, and uh, you are getting the same experience as everyone else, uh, unless you have some individual boosts. As always, it always helps uh, to have the extra boosts uh, from the hideout uh, transferred to you uh, from the other characters, or you can just open some of the log boxes with the keys from the Zen store and try to get some XP boosts that way, but that is obviously uh, something that requires you to use real-life currency, either by converting from questionite currency or uh, by actually purchasing it. Each key is uh, uh, normally 100 Zen, so you can calculate that for yourself. And uh, basically every time you <laughs> complete uh, the daily mission of uh, three alerts, be that as uh, three grabs alert or three bursts alerts or three smash alerts or one of each you get some more experience and normally uh, some question aid and uh, sometimes the silver recognition silver champion recognition is basically another currency so there are quite a few ways to speed up your leveling apart from grab alerts but beware that it will take quite a lot of time <laughs> But I guess you chose the noble path of helping others, or trolling others, in the tutorial area. And if you are determined enough, you can do that. As you can see in the video, I become level 40 in the tutorial on Druzhok character. And yeah, it works quite fine for me. So. Thanks again uh, for checking out the tutorial, I wish you all the best, good luck heroes, and may the spirit of heroism be with you I guess. <laughs> again good luck, have patience, and be mindful of how much experience you are getting per each level. Peace out, that was Victor Zen 360 and I'll see you next time.